Emulsify is, at its core, a prototyping tool. At Four Kitchens, we also use it as a Drupal 8 theme starter kit. Now, depending on how you want to use it, the installation steps will vary. I'll quickly go over how to install and use Emulsify as a standalone prototyping tool. Then I'll show you how we use it to theme Drupal 8 sites. If you go to emulsify.info, you can see some information about Emulsify, but I'm gonna go ahead and click the download the source from GitHub link which takes us over to GitHub where all of our actual development happens. And if we scroll down a bit, the README has some great installation steps. I'm gonna go ahead and walk through these, so I'll switch over to my terminal. The first command you're gonna run is the composer create project command. This will actually install Emulsify. In my case, it's going to install into a folder named Emulsify because that's the last uh, word there in this command. I'll go ahead and push enter. And now I'll just go ahead and move into the Emulsify folder that I created. And at this point you can run npm install or yarn install if you have that. Yarn is a bit faster, but you have to install it on your computer in order to use it. And once the installation process is complete, you can run either npm start or yarn start. The start process runs all of the build and watch commands. So once it's up, all of your changes are reflected instantly in the browser. Once it's up, you can use either the local or external link to view the Pattern Lab instance in the browser. The external link is useful for physical device testing, like on your phone or your tablet, but the address can vary per machine. So if you're using hosted fonts, you might have to add a bunch of IPs to your account to accommodate all of your developers. I'll go ahead and click the local link and you can see that we have Emulsify installed and running. Now, right now, this is a very bare bones, gray, drab theme, and that's kind of on purpose. We want you to be able to have a good starting point, have the tooling in place, but be able to create your own theme and not rely on uh, someone else's theme to do your custom work. 